Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Zuidma and Ivkov that was played in Belgrade in 1964. Where is Belgrade? Belgrade is the capital city of Serbia. Serbians pronounce it Belgrad. Translated to English language, Belgrade means white city. Due to popular demand, I am going to show you a game in which black wins, and it's going to be from black's point of view. Just a word or two about player with black pieces. His name is Borislav Ivkov, and he is Serbian chess grandmaster. He was the first ever world junior champion. He got his title in 19. 51. Let's look at the game. White started with e4. Black played c5, so we have Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, e6, d4, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on d4, and this variation is called Khan variation of Sicilian defense. Bishop to d3, bishop to c5 attacking knight, knight to b3 attacking bishop, black has a choice, bishop to e7, b6 or a7, bishop to a7 was played, white castled, knight to c6, king to h1, looks like white wants to push pawn to f4, knight to f6, and as we predicted, f4. It is black to move. Very natural move in this position is d6, another one would be castling, but being on the home ground, Ivkov decided to play attacking chess. And he played h5. Hmm. It had psychological effect on his opponent. Because of playing natural moves like knight to c3 or maybe queen to e1, white played a4 and this doesn't improve his position. Now knight to g4, it will be followed by queen to h4, why decide to bring more soldiers to protect his king, and now queen to h4, and threat is checkmate on h2. h3, it is black to move, how would you continue? Knight is under attack, would you move your knight? There is no need to move knight, because pawn is pinned. And in this position, Ivko made another brilliant move. g5, ripping open, kingside. White played bishop to d2. And if he can move again, he would play bishop to e1 and he would be winning. But in chess, we have to take turns. And it is black to move. He played knight to f2 and this is check. Knight is protected by queen and bishop, so white didn't take knight, he played king to h2. Now g4 attacking queen. White thought that queen to g3 would solve the problem. Without queens on the board, he thought if he would be doing okay. Anyway, if we go back, white is losing in all variations. Queen to g3 was played. You captured queen, white captured, but immediately after that, white resigned. Why white resigned? Okay, we'll have a look why. What would you play in this position if you had black pieces? Have a good look. Have you seen this? That is the most obvious move and it is the best. This is check. King to h2, now check again, king can go to h1, only to g1. And now, knight takes on d3, this is discovered check, king to h1 and check again, king to g1 and check again, this is ridiculous, isn't it? And no wonder that white resigned, he didn't want to continue playing this variation, this ending. Very, very good attack by Ivko, wasn't it? And that h5 move in this position 
was very brave and a very good one. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.